What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind in Hero Mode. In this episode, we found two fairies, and I thought there were one, but they became one. Just kidding. Um, we're about to fight the second last boss in the game, or the boss for the finale, I guess. Well, kind of. I mean, we still got a lot to do in this game, like a freaking lot. Ooh, this place looks really cool. Doesn't look nearly as like terrible as the other arena did pff, with the ghost dude. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of your friend. Uh, this this arena looks crap too. I, I mean, uh, oh no. Oh, I love watching the sand fill up, even though it does feel kind of really unnaturally. <coughs> Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, that looks like it tasted delicious. Holy crap. This sound looks so much cooler in this game. It's like flowing and stuff. Oh, you know what? You're gonna want your iron boots for this as well. I almost forgot that. If you don't have your iron boots, this is what'll happen. Oh, never mind. Well then, I was wrong. Anyways, this music here. Everyone loves it a lot. I never really liked it at first. But then someone brought it up that, hey, this music, this song's amazing. I don't know who, it, probably like freaking, not just, oh, good lord, I'm stuck. <laughs> Yeah, if he bites you, he'll like pull you into the sand. It'll be terrible times. Ah, oh, dude, you need to die, please. Okay, careful, careful, careful. So the sand does flow slowly towards this dude. Oh no, what? Oh, you might be able to bite me here. Okay. If I kind of missed there or something, you totally would have detected me. But yeah, this music is freaking fantastic. I just thought it was like a typical track until I like really listened to it. I was like, holy crap, this is an amazing song. Whoa, what? He's a flying dragon. Oh, good lord! Ah! Ah! Whoa! That did a lot of damage. Holy crap! Jeez, I did not actually expect that to be so hurtful. How dare you be so hurtful to me? Why you gotta be so cruel and stuff and stupid references? I love his like little babies. He shoots out. Hey, wait, what? <laughs> uh, oh, I love his tongue is all bumpy too. He has to hurt derps and stuff or something. I don't know. Stupid jokes. Um. Uh, Little freaking babies coming at me. They look kind of weirdly glitched out and appearing above the sand a bit too much. Whoa! How the balls was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Where is he? Oh, good lord! I don't know where he is! Ah, he's up there! Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Probably one of the things I was taking out of this game is you used to be able to pull him in from like when he was in the sky, you were able to hook shot his tongue. Not anymore! So even though I didn't know that was a thing to begin with, so. <laughs> uh, all right, there we go. Should be close to death. Oh, is that it? Not as difficult as I remember him being. Wow, that's kind of disappointing, actually. Zero out of eight. Very sad, mates. That explosion, though. Yay! Our 12th heart container. Isn't that really weird? We're finishing the last real temple of the game. And we're only on 12 heart containers. That's so strange to me. I believe when we were doing Ocarina of Time, by the time we got to the Spirit Temple, we were like... I think we are already on like 19 hearts or something like that. I think we got our last heart container in the Spirit Temple, actually. Or maybe not in the Spirit Temple, but maybe right before it. No, that's not true. I think we would have got it right, right after it. You got a heart container. Your life energy is increased by one, plus your life gauge has been replenished. Yay! Alrighty. Go see what's gonna go happen on here. It's like the teleport out of here, so it'd be funny if you jumped in here. We forgot we we're even here to fix the Master Sword. Alright, here we go.
This transformation I never really thought was too amazing. Like compared to the first one when the when the wings fly out on the like hilt of the sword, like this the gem only turns yellow and it glows a bit whiter. I don't know. Messenger has returned. Uh, it's Blade once again. Houses the power to repel evil. Sword of the one true hero is revived at last. Link, I have fully restored the power to repel evil to your master sword. Then my ancestors are most satisfied. Wow, thank God Makar was finally useful. Yeah, he has a little tail. I didn't notice that before. I shall continue praying to the gods here. Link, please step in the light and return above ground. Yeah, let's come back here and see that we can't even talk to you. May the winds of fortune be at your back. Bye, Makar. Definitely not going to come back here because I know I'm not going to be able to talk to you. Well, it would be cool to just come to see the battle arena after I've, like, won. Although I could have already done that. Oh, look at that. I see. So, the Forsaken Fortress is already... Ah! Like a molten snake that casts off its dead skin. The place is so empty and quiet, one can almost hear the echo of dead leaves falling to the cold cracked ground. Mm. Why? What ails you? What? Lose long face. Those monsters are gone from the world. Does that make you a little happy? Uh oh. That sounds a bit suspicious. Link, I have troubling news. Guy has not shown himself above the sea since Valua unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. You know what's worth? Worse, that is not a creature stirring in his base of operations in, the, in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it's possible, and yet I cannot shake this foreboding feeling that I have about the Princess Zelda. Link, you must search for all the Triforce shards so we can head back to Hyrule without delay. Yeah, about that. We are not going to be going to Hyrule for quite a long time. I'm going to go ahead and guess like 20 to 30 episodes. Something insane like that. Gross. I like how everyone takes pictures of that. Wait, what? Shaniqua? <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, attack two cans would have a freaking blast with that. Alright. What we are going to do now. So we are going to start our adventure. Where are we exactly right now in relation to the world? Okay, we're right here. Uh, what we're going to do first, though, is we're going to teleport. Nope. Start playing the command melody. I'm just too used to it. I guess, yeah, I guess we might as well start this in this episode. Um, I want to go get a few maps. So we're going to be kind of going out of our way here. And um, we're going to take on our first submarine, actually. Which I'm kind of a little bit sad. I wish on the bottom template down below... That is probably appearing up right now. Sorry, future Chris, for the extra work. But, um... I wasn't able to put submarines on there. I really wanted to. I guess it's kind of spoilery for me to say that since we haven't even done one yet. But, uh... I really wanted to do something like that for one of them. Is that where I want to go? No, that's south. I want to go over... Ooh, I think it's actually this place right here. No. I guess it would be that one. What are those two platforms in? Where are those? Can't be an island, can it? I guess it could be. Oh, I see. It's just a part of this island. I mean, you might be wondering, what the heck is this place? <laughs> well, you're about to maybe find out. Ooh. That right there is what we're looking for. However, we're going to come over here first. We're not going to talk to the map fish yet. No! <laughs> sails too crazy man it's too crazy so we're actually not gonna do much on this island yet because we actually cannot do anything well well we can do something but it won't be really worth it and I mean that's really weird to explain but you'll understand next time we come here and we'll walk up here oh we even got a cutscene I don't know about this what's this say Birdman contest I didn't count you if you think you were born to fly, then take the challenge of the sky to win fame and prizes. Well, we are not Birdman yet, so we're not going to do that. Oh, look how, how glowy glow my master squirt is. Good evening. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? I don't know why I talked to the Postal Service that I had nothing to deliver. Um, let's see here. Wonderful. Sent from the Forsaken Fortress, but death of Forsaken Fortress. Oh, oh wow. all the way out there? I see. Quite so. Well, as I've explained before, ho always um, points his telescope towards something that will be helpful to our... Wow, great. Fantastic. Um, 
Oh, uh, seriously, I can't climb up here? Come on, man. Seriously. Where is he? I don't even see anything. I thought there was something this way. It is over there. Why is it not pointing towards the correct thing? Whatever. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to maybe he's pointing towards something else that's important in this sector, which is weird. But anyways, here's a submarine. And actually, over here, let's get this glowy glow. I was considering doing all the glowy glows. I don't think I'm going to anymore, just because it's not really worth it. We do need the money, but um, it's simply not really worth it. These all contain like 50 rupees. I don't think there's anything else in any of them ever. Maybe there's a few that have like more, like an orange rupee or something. You got a purple rupee. I feel like that one almost should have had it because that's kind of really all the way. Well, not really. I mean, if you find a submarine, you're going to find that glow spot. All right, get all the boats while it's raining. This is the first submarine that we were going to in the game. I mean, we could have done a lot more earlier, but I was waiting to do these till we go exploring. Whoa. This looks a lot bigger on the inside than I figured it would. A switch? Let's break that first. It's not like it's going to have a heart in there for me or anything. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Is that it? Did I do it? Nope. Oh, let's uh, pull out our fire arrows. No, where is? There he is. No! Oh my good god! Whatever. You suck, sir. You suck. Okay, he's dead. Fantastic. My love. My life is great. My love is great. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, fire arrows. Fourth win. Oh no, there's another one. Oh no, and it's the Denas as well! The Denas are here! The Denas! No! Oh, I was clearly pointing my way towards the whiz robe. No! What? Are you serious? Uh, no! No! Game? No! No! Gah! Assholes! Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess the whole thing of this temple here wasn't to kill all the enemies, it was to kill all the wizard robes. So it was like, what, four? That was, is there no? I could have I saw one up there. <laughs> Alright, fine, whatever. You can just stay down there. I like how there's fireflies in here. I like how there's nothing in here, though. <laughs> oh, I don't want to, I don't want to just spin attack on one chew. One ultra hurricane spin. Oh god, these guys are so glitchy, I love it. <laughs> Alright, you two. You two. No! There we go. Is that it? Are all the assholes dead? They are. Great. I can leave here in peace now that I'm knowing I've killed all the things. Alright. No! Dang it. I didn't even like look away. I mean I thought you would think that maybe I looked away from the screen there when that happened, but no, I was looking straight on. I was trying to change the direction of the, the stick to walk properly, but it didn't work. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> we got a platform chart. I can see the platforms out in the high seas. Open the chart in the map screen to view it. Alright, so that is actually really helpful here. Uh, um open it up here I guess we're going to be best to go this way beetles chart platform chart there, there we go this is one of the special charts I really want to find and this shows us where all the platforms are and since I plan to go check out all these platforms I figured it'd be a good idea to grab this chart since I don't know where they are and um, yeah I don't think there's any other charts I want to get here before I start my exploration I'm gonna check so be right back okay I'm back so, hmm, I guess that's really it. That's all I really want for charge. There, there is one more I was considering getting, which is, which being the, um, the, the submarine charts, just so I don't miss anything. But you know what? Oh, we can't go to the mother and child. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah, actually, there's two charts I should, probably should consider getting. The great octo charts. Show me where giant squid are. <laughs> And um, also the freaking gosh dang diggity uh, submarine charges. Oh, why did I teleport here? I knew this was going to happen. Dang it. Well, I guess I could use fairies here. Some fairy fucks and stuff, you know, yo. Okay, let's grab this first fairy here because we are down a few hearts. Three to be exact. Off on that stupid submarine. So, you know, we all live in the 
yellow submarine, I'll just say the green submarine. <laughs> we all live in a green submarine! Alright, so. Um, yeah, we're pretty much done everything we need to do in the game, you guys. Like, well, not really. I mean, we gotta go search for the Triumph Forks. As the man fish or the fish man say. Oh, that sucks. I wish he had the choice to teleport inside or outside. I guess the best island to go to would be Tingle Island and sail northwest. Shouldn't take too long with the great or the swift sail, the great sail. Alright, bye, Mother Child Isles. So what I guess we're gonna end up doing was we're gonna be taking on all the islands one row at a time. What is that entitled? Well, hold on, so Tingle Islands. Okay, which way do you want to go here? Wrong way. You want to go this way, question mark? No, wrong way as well. That's towards the God's Tower. The Tower of the Gods. Still the wrong way. That's one fly island over there. This way? Yeah, there we go. Alright, there's my other child island right there. So we're not too far away, thankfully. Were those seagulls over there? Ooh, they are. Should I go do that? No, it's not our time yet. See, there's four seagulls over there. That's important, you guys. There's something I just kind of talked about. Didn't, weren't listening? Well, that sucks to be you, doesn't it? Oh, man. When the waves are like this, it's hard to tell where the shiny spots are. Oh, see, I missed it. That's okay. Whatever. That's not a big deal to me. All right. Let's head off to the Forsaken Fortress. That is not the Forsaken Fortress. I guess it would be that island over there, question mark. Hey, look at the bottle. Yeah, I like when the waves are like this, for finding the shiny spot. Because for the most part, this pattern on the waves, it doesn't move. So if you see a shiny spot, you can just figure out where it is and go to it from there. Holy crap, that fish jumped high. It's actually something new available to us at the Mother and Child Island that wasn't there the first time we went. Or any other time we went. I mean, there was, okay, there's, there's a person on the smaller island that we haven't seen before. But we're not going to be dealing with that yet, so oh well. Ooh. Two battleships over here. Whoa, 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 I forgot about that. Jeez. Ah. <laughs> a lot harder to avoid those when you're going full speed with the swift sail over here. All right, Forsaken Fortress, here we go. Fortunately, we'll come here during the night. Let's change it to daytime. I'm going to just give a little quick see look at what this place is like during the day. It should. Ah, uh, see, it's permanently night. Let's change it. You know what? Yeah, oops, that was correct. Song will passing. Oh man, I forgot to do this. I thought I would just pass the night like an awkward time without doing this, but whatever. So yeah, look, it's permanently daytime here now. And now, unless I'm incorrect here, or they changed it for this game, it should not change the night when we get close. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Ganon's curse is no longer affecting this place. I believe if we come over yonder. Do we have? Oh, I thought I saw a bottle up there. <laughs> I was gonna be really confused. It's really weird to be here. Oh yeah, there you go, going, going slow again. So if we come over here, which I've never been before, and geez, this guy really likes to hide apparently occasionally. I wonder what this looks like under the waves. Like if you glitch the camera underneath the water, what well, you'd see? Hey, it's Mr. Ho. Oh, dang it. <laughs> also, really wish you go into the ship. You can't, though. Unfortunate. To wow, those waves look freaking huge. Jeez. Oh, that's really cool. This shot right here looks really cool. It's like the waves just go on for infinity, and they look so big compared to the King of Red Lions. Why am I crouching? I don't want to do that. What do you have to say? Ho ho! F frightening. So, I don't actually think he's talking about anything here. Is your ship still there? Oh, he burnt up to a crisp? It is. I don't actually think we can get back up there, to be honest. But we might, we're going to take a look in the next episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you ready. My name's Chris. This thing is, like, barely holding on. Holy crap. Jeez. In the next episode, we start our exploration of the Great Sea. Pass it on. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.